What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of the Just Saying Podcast. I'm your host, Justin Marndale, and this week's guest, I'm so excited to have her. Uh, she is not only so hilarious, she opens for Anthony Jeselnik on the road. Uh, you have not seen her on VH1, <laughs> um, but one of the best. I love her to death. Kelly Ryan is here. Hooray! Hello! Yay! I mean, I feel like you and I have bonded so quickly. Uh. So quickly. So fast. <laughs> through through very stressful situations. Yes. That you and I had no stress for. Everyone else around us was stressed. Yes. But yes. then you and I, like, it's one of those things where I'll be sitting in the back of the room or upstairs, and then I'll look over and you'll be walking towards me or vice mm -hmm. versa, and we just, like, go, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're this just, is what we're doing this today. This is what we do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't need to say much. I can look at you and we agree. Yeah, we're yeah. just like, <sighs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, we had a um, a showcase. A showcase. You, I mean, you and I pretty much are like the showcase king and queen <laughs> of this goddamn establishment. I, every time there's a showcase, I get a call. I get a call. And, there, and I don't know why I think it's going to be something different anytime I get a call. I'm like, I'm like, oh, this is the day. They're like, hey, do you want do you want to be the main room? What? I, but, but every yeah. time they're like, no, can you do seven minutes upstairs in the belly room? We're showcasing for this thing now. Yeah. Whatever. There's a, there's a show. Um, a show that I've done twice already, <laughs> and I had to showcase for it. And I'm like, I've done this show twice. And they're like, five minutes, you're next. I'm like, you're next. Uh, I, I, yeah, that was, that's fun. But you know what? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Because maybe this showcase, <laughs> we will actually get. Is the one. <laughs> maybe it's the one. The, uh, there were so, there was one that we did like a month and a half ago where I was like, we did great. We did great. And I have heard nothing. Nothing. I nothing. know which one you're talking about. Yes, yes. Yep, there's and, a festival coming up. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. And and we killed it. Oh, no, no, no. That was, you and Bruce killed it on that Oh. One. I'm talking about the the uh, late night one. Oh, that, that, that was that in one. November. That, oh, my God. That was in November. That was last November. Yeah. That's right. Yes. Fingers we, crossed. Fingers I mean, crossed. <laughs> I mean I, you never know when they're going to call. You never know when they're going to call. It could be today. Mm -hmm. It could be never. But I'm not holding out hope. I, no. We're, 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 we're as hanging tight. As far as I'm concerned, daddy's not coming home. <sighs> He's never coming back. No. <laughs> it is so wild. So, um, and, and honestly, I was like, I'm so glad you're here because we just this is what we do we this just banter we, we oh, kiki so excited. how is everything going with you otherwise than showcasing oh it's great weren't you you were just gone over the last I weekend was, this weekend i was i did the will turn with jeselnik which oh, was work. great my family was there i was so stressed out never been so stressed out before a show have they never seen you perform they have, but not to that degree. In a theater? Yeah, and there was a lot of stuff that they hadn't heard that oh. is, like, very offensive. Dark. I mean, yeah, yeah. And But they they loved it. I uh -huh. mean, I, I have a bit about Sprite and Puss, and my dad loved the bit. What? Wait, a bit about what? About, about uh... <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> about about like um spreading your your mm? vagina with your fingers. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spreading puss. I don't know. Is that okay. not a common term? Well we can That's hashtag that. Yeah, yeah, we can <laughs> spread puss. <laughs> and your dad and your dad is in the he audience. He liked the bit. Good. He liked the bit. Yeah. Um, but they're all yeah, every every person was like, I can't believe your family was here to to, it, it was a great show, but they're like, uh, like even my manager was like, "You're cool." They're saying all that, and my dad's like, mm -hmm. "Yeah." You're <laughs> like, "Well, I got it from somewhere, right?" Yeah. Is your dad yeah. the funny one? As long as it, it is, my dad is funny. Yeah. And my mom is very silly. Yeah. But my dad is like my my dad's. He did stand up with me. Like he, we took a class. So it was a whole thing. What? Yes. You took a stand up class with your dad? Yes, when I was seventeen. <laughs> Oh my God, that's so cute. I know. And now he's he lives in Orange County and now he's doing open mics. Oh ah. my God, he's going to get past here. I, can you imagine? Your boyfriend, your can dad, you it's a whole, whole family, family affair. <laughs> the whole family on the fucking wall. Yeah, no, it, he's so funny, but he also is like, I mean, he's 63. Yeah. It, he's a, so there are like moments, like he's like, you know, I love Dangerfield. And I'm like, yeah, he's been dead for yeah. a minute. But yeah. he's he helping you someone with new? your tags and, and he stuff. Uh, he, the, <laughs> there's, I do get the text of like, I was thinking you could add this oh. to, you, to the bit. And then I go, this sounds like you. This is you, you, what you do your bit. Yeah. You go and do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's so supportive. They're all so supportive. You're like a... Um it's like a clown car of like it's like no it's like the it's like the the traveling circus where the whole family's like in the um what's it called the 
the, the, the flying trapeze. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Here we have the Ryans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because we have, well, me, stand up. Allie does her whole TikTok thing. Uh-huh. My brother's directs and does all that stuff. You know, and then my dad, you know, a little open micer. <laughs> oh, your dad's an open <laughs> micer. So he's, cute. It's so cute. And he's, and I saw a guy send me a video the other day. He was like, your dad's crushing. And I was like, oh. yeah. Yeah, my dad's crushing. We love a crushing dad. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's I, so cute. I know. God. I know. And the will turn. I mean, that's a big theater. Countess Luann was just there. <laughs> <laughs> she had her cabaret there that's not too huge. long ago. That's huge. huge. I've never been. I've never done the will turn. Yeah, I'd never been in there before. It's it's beautiful. It is a pretty it's thing. Very... It's always just like old, like 1930s, like mm-hmm. theaters. The that... new ones. Uh, yeah. I mean, the the. You have to find the right middle ground. Mm-hmm. There's too old and there's too new. Mm-hmm. You got to find that window. Mm-hmm. The two new ones are sterile. You know, that's like houses. That's like apartments in yes. the city. If they're too modern and look like a box and they're just, they're, there's no character or charm to the, it. Nothing. The old ones, I love them, but they can get drafty, you know? Yeah. But I love like a good, you know, vibe to it, like something yeah. haunted, something. I love a haunted yeah, energy. I love being haunted. Yes. And also it's, Really, I judge a lot of places based on the green room. Speaking of haunted. Yes. I actually had an encounter over the weekend where I was staying at my friend Krista's house. She was in Cabo. So she's like, stay at my house, you know, use the pool, whatever, and take and also take care of my dogs. So yes. yes. Um, and I was outside um, with the dogs and I took off my socks and I put them <laughs> after I got inside opened the the laundry door because there's a door to the laundry. Sure. Ugh, rich. Wow. And put uh put the socks on the floor by the washer. Shut the door. And I'm like, "Okay, let's finish the last last load of laundry." Yeah. Open the door. Socks are gone. Don't tell me that. Don't even tell me that. Immediately, I think there's a goblin in the wall. There's a full-on uh, somebody... wall elf who stole my socks, fucking Dobby the house elf, like just mm-hmm. took them. Now he's free to roam the hills. <laughs> and and it was driving me insane to the point where my boyfriend was like, well, did you put him here? Did you put, well, maybe, and I'm like, I didn't put him anywhere. I, I uh, walked up the steps, opened the door, put the socks there. End of story. I know where my socks should be. And the fact that my socks are not there yeah. means that someone else is in this house. Exactly. Drove me insane. I'm ripping this house apart, like, and the, and then he's like, "Well, maybe the dogs ate it." I'm like, "What dog just eats, eats full a, sock?" No, no, no. You were visited by somebody, something. And also, though, this is a good thing to know because socks always go missing. Mm-hmm. Not like in the span of ten minutes when no. you put them on the ground so no. you don't forget them. And typically, only one is separate. They're separated. Yes, but to have Together. both. Together, gone, you were visited. I know. I was like, there is a full-on ghost with a sock fetish. I mean, it's the hills. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. It's spooky up there. And I was like, whatever. Yeah. And then I had my car got broken into. um, Because like the hills are- (laughs) They took my socks. (laughs) The hills are full of crime with the sound of music. It's honestly, I left my car unlocked. My bad. I came home from the store, Mm -hmm. parked it right out front, went inside, Mm -hmm. didn't do- didn't lock it. My bad. So broken into is is strong they words. They, they, they opened it. They didn't see the they, little red light and they were like, all right. But yeah. honestly, I was just like, oh, it's the hills. Who wants to go up there? Like Justin Timberlake lives right here. Sean Why White. Why would you want my stuff? Why do you want my stuff? Why, yeah. I don't have like, you know, like the fanciest of car, but still it's yeah. nice. Um, <laughs> but like I walked out and like there's all like this all, just trash all in my seat. And I look into my car and I'm like, well, that's not my car. Because there's trash everywhere. Yeah. And then I stopped and I was like, that has to be my car. So I I looked and I opened the door and my glove compartment was just totally ransacked. And I don't have anything of value in my uh, car because I'm a person. I know better, right? Yeah. And I look in the back seat and my dog seat's gone. They stole a dog seat. Frida Pepita's dog seat. What? Yeah. Is what? that not the most LA thing? <laughs> like, yeah, that that really is. They left Evans Ray Bans, but took the dog but seat. But took the dog seat. That, so, I, you know what? I'm blaming the eclipse. 
I'm blaming the eclipse. I'm blaming the eclipse. How was your eclipse? Uh, <laughs> my eclipse? Want to know? I found out about all this nonsense 24 hours ago. Oh, you did? I had no clue we were eclipsing. And then all of a sudden, my Instagram feed is, is all the eclipse, the moon. Oh yeah, just Joe I'm, Rogan staring at the sun. Yeah, yeah I, I'm like, what are what are we doing? Yeah. I never, I never talk about the moon. Yeah, me and the moon, uh, we maybe converse. I'm gay. I always talk about the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I frequent love, the moon. I, I frequent, frequent the moon. I love a cycle of the moon. Mm. I love just a, a harvest, a blood. Yes. The last time I looked worm. at the moon was it was one of those phases of the moon on a shirt in Earthbound. Yeah. Yeah. That was the last time I checked in. Like if you went to a Discovery Channel store as a kid um, in the mall, yes. you're into the moon. Yeah. Or yeah. And probably gay too. Yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah, we. it's a thing. It, when, they all track together. When did, When does it do it? When does when when are we doing it? When are we doing what? When are we turning it on? What when does it happen? What, is the it eclipse? happening now? Oh yeah, girl, it's over. It's over. Are you okay? I missed it. Yeah, you missed I'm it. Full on missed it. You were it. so excited. You're like, when is it? Now I'm involved. It's now, over. Wait. Yeah. But I didn't see anything. Well, it happened. You're not supposed to see it. You have to like put on special glasses to oh. see it. Yeah. Uh, it happened at eleven eleven. We only had about like a thirty percent visibility visibility of it. Yeah. Did so, you have the glasses? No. You know what? If you've seen one eclipse, you've seen them all. Yeah, Honestly. I, think that, I didn't know that they happen every year. Yeah. No, they don't happen every year. They This was like one where it's actually like there's a clear path going across North America. Usually they're on other parts different... of the world, all this stuff. So it was very bizarre because um, it's it went from, yeah, it, it's cutting through like the Midwest, through Texas and all the way up to New York. So it's just kind of going like, full visibility. That's the 100%. Uh, Oh, that's hundred percent. But like mine, it was just kind of like, eh. But there was an article that said, "Is there such thing as eclipse sickness?" And as soon as this thing started at like ten ish, it was like ten thirty, yeah. eleven o'clock. People, many people, myself included, claimed to be plagued by weird feelings, headaches, and insomnia. I went to Sirius XM, hosted the after show for Jeff Lewis. Mm -hmm. I sat down at the microphone and I was like, ugh. Like, felt really nauseous. Like, I felt like I was going to be sick. Really? Talked to Lan, my producer, this morning. He's like, I felt kind of sick today. And I was like, me too. We found this article. We're like, eclipse, uh, uh, eclipse fatigue, nausea is a thing. Um, what does it do? Is it shaking? Are we moving? Well, yeah. I mean, you're, <laughs> we're moving right I now. <laughs> yeah. It's so fast, but we are. I, I think it has something to do with, like, I mean, the moon is in charge of, like, tides, and, uh, and water. Yes, 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 so yes, I yes. feel like when the two sync up, it's just kind of mm -hmm. like a vertigo kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people were saying like, oh, my dogs, get your dogs inside because animals are freaking out or freaking whatever. Out. I feel like this, uh, the eclipses and the whatever, are, the eclipses are distractions. Mm -hmm. uh, that's From what's the something bigger, else yeah. is happening. We're all on the spectrum. That's all. I mean, yeah. at this point, we all, everyone's dealing with something, <laughs> some inner turmoil, demons, something. Something is happening. But we like to blame. <laughs> We're like, Mercury's in retrograde up oh, during an eclipse. Which I will tell you, yeah. I, I'm not a very Mercury retrograde gal. Okay. But <laughs> last week I felt it, or two weeks ago, uh -huh. when it was real, really kicking, I mean, everyone around me was in hell. Yeah. It was, it was uh, awful news after awful news. My dog bag got stolen. I mean, for crying out loud. <laughs> Could it get any worse? Could it get any worse right now? Oh. What happened to you? Because everyone's like, don't sign any contracts. Don't make deals. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I know. I got very sick. Uh -huh. I was very sick. And then uh, my my health insurance got canceled. I, and I, you're not going to believe this. Did you know if they don't pay, you you don't pay, they cancel it? Did you know that? If you don't pay your health insurance, they cancel it? The audacity. Did you know that? I, I mean, I do now. Oh, I, I thought it was on auto pay. Turns out it was not. It should be on auto pay. I thought it was. Yeah, I got to figure that out today after this. <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. But yeah, no, I, I had multiple things just go totally incorrectly. My sister had issues. Uh, my friend had issues. She had to fly home. It was a whole, everyone was fucked up. I know. And mm -hmm. it's only April. And it's only April. I know. But good, you know what? Good day for Bonnie Tyler, though, uh, because her song, Totally Eclipse of the Heart, has uh, peaked. I guess it went, it surged on Spotify today. I think it went up like 50 something percent. 
So this this eclipse is keeping the, her working. Th that's good because I've been worried about her. I know. Actually, <laughs> day in and day out. I know. Sometimes I don't think about her and then I'll see a woman and I'll go, turn around, bright eyes, and she'll turn around. <laughs> and I'm like, just wanted to check, see just if it was you, Bonnie it. Tyler. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, the Spotify representative said that her song soared nearly 50% in the U.S. over the past week and the streaming service is expecting that to grow on Monday into the eclipse. So, I mean, if you're going to have an eclipse song, Mm -hmm. own it yeah but i feel like i don't know i always get i get anxiety like lane and i were talking about it. lands and aries what sign are you i'm a taurus a taurus okay so yeah. it's coming up what it, are you i'm aries you're aries too okay yeah so lance aries i'm aries and we were like anxious yeah it was giving me anxiety like mm -hmm. honestly you go outside and i was going home and everyone's on the corner of the streets just like it's weird looking. Yeah. Everyone has like the like the 3D glasses on. Like people are just staring. It's just very bizarre. It's, and then you want to look, but then you're like, no, my eyes, my corneas, you know. <laughs> it's just not a shocker to me that AI is taking over. Oh, when I when I see things like that of people just staring you're up like, at the sky, I'm like, we're the dumbest breed alive. I know. <laughs> it's very true. And also I'm like, bring the aliens. Let's go. Oh, let's figure this out. Come I, on. I, are you watching Three Body Problem? No, I haven't started it yet. I'm okay. watching Ripley, which is oh, okay. really good. Okay, Talented yeah. Mr. Ripley limited series, so good. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have yeah, to watch. Yeah, very yeah, yeah. good. Three Body Problem is aliens. Oh, essentially. Okay, essentially that's the topic or whatever. And the whole, I mean, the writing goes between good and so corny. Okay, it, which is entertaining in its own right. Because they say things where you're like, that was the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard of. Yeah, it's like Outlander. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But the, uh, the the whole thing is that the aliens are smarter than us, and I have no doubt in my mind that they are. They better be. Could you imagine if they were dumber than us? Oh, my Good God. Good God. Like, if we just had high hopes, the highest of hopes, for the most intellectual beings in the universe, and they yeah. they get here, and they're like, dirt, but dirt, but dirt. Hey, yeah, they're like, have y'all heard that new JoJo Siwa song? And you're oh, like, we love no. JoJo Siwa. <laughs> She's literally like on their flag uh, she, <laughs> she's the empress yeah the empress <laughs> which which first of all i am a back and forth between being terrified of her and knowing that she is is not a threat it's a little bit of both it's a little bit of both she is <laughs> on both on both i think she is the yes. kiss makeup yeah uh, it, it's got to go. It has to go. I need to know what lesbian this is for. I'm so glad you asked and mentioned this because this is a segment I like to call what lesbian is this for? <laughs> I am so at a loss as well. I don't know. It's lipstick truck driver adjacent. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yes. She's husky. She's a husky it's, les. Yes. She, and she's gone into this kind of like bad girl image. She's like, I was just a bad girl. And I'm like, like you were on uh, Dance Moms. You weren't a bad girl. Yeah. You weren't, you wore uh, bows. Bows. Bows yeah. was your thing. Yeah. And now we're, we've moved to this mohawk. Yeah situation this this whole like ripped jeans and sparkles she i actually thought that was me in the background and i was like <laughs> i wasn't there i swear um, why does her face <laughs> she looks like a um like a character in shark tale her face is so bizarre she does in that pit. like she, she yes she, <laughs> she's giving shark tale yeah yeah, yeah. And also, um, she had a West Hollywood takeover. And by takeover, I mean she went to one bar. Yes. And then across the street went to another bar. My biggest question, and I hate that I'm getting into dad mode right now, but I'm going to be a dad for a second. Go off. She's 20 years old. How did she get into the bars? That is a good point. Why was I she didn't able, even think of that. She's 20 years old. You can't be in a bar unless you're 21. Why, Why are, you, are you there? Out of everybody, we're letting you in. Out She's of, just uh, a bad girl. This, I mean, I, I, and the worst is that I saw this clip where she was like, she's like, no one in my generation is doing this. Yeah. 
and whatever. And it's like, doing what? No one else should be doing this ever. Like, I don't know what you think you're doing. The ego attached to it yes. is so bizarre. Also, she has a car that's wrapped in her faces. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting to even wrap a car to begin with. You're wrapping a car. I'm sure that is like the coolest thing at the, the a gas station in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. But in Los Angeles, you should not be wrapping your car with your face. But it's also funny because people on TikTok are now saying like, damn, I'm getting cut off by Jojo Siwa. And it's Jojo Siwa, like cutting people off. Which I believe she's I, a bad driver. Told, she's just a bad driver. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's really kind of amazing because I kind of got sucked into this... Um, bad girl era. She's like aggressively scissoring another girl in like some midnight lagoon. Um, the, it, <laughs> the music video is hell. It is absolute hell. I I have never wanted to stare at an eclipse with no protection. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, she looks like I just don't buy that I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I <laughs> we can't. both stared at Sorry. Jojo Siwa Sorry. like it was the eclipse. Sorry. The way that she, Ugh. if, Ugh. like, this person should not be sexual. <laughs> not yet. She needs to grow. She needs to grow up. She's stunted. She's, stu she's, she's stunted. She's a, a stunted Quan. Yes. But it's also really funny because these are all the videos that were going around on TikTok where she's like, look, she's not singing. She's doing oh, the, the dance. dance. The dance is garbage. The dance is the, atrocious. And look, she's not singing. She's she's literally hopping around on pixie sticks and fentanyl and <laughs> just screaming. And she's like, what? What? That's right. This is my song. Normally, if you have a song, uh, if, uh, oh, God, put it down. Uh, uh, put, put it, it down. down. Yeah, this is, oh, God. Well, because I'm, I'm, worried that this is going to create followers no i'm i <laughs> i stand i don't need I'm more putting of my these foot things down. no i know but where are they gonna come from the dirt they're they, gonna come yes. up from the ground up from the ground on a solar eclipse just <laughs> like is <laughs> this, <laughs> what if what if the aliens what if what if the, what if they're all like this the empress the empress, the empress has spoken she has delivered her She's, synchronized message to alert us all and uh, yes, I did. I was telling Land about that interview you were talking about where she's like, no one's in it. I'm doing it. <laughs> Someone's got to. Someone's got to do it. Shut up. And the interviewer's like. No one like, has to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. The way that he's just like, I can't even. It's It blows my mind. And um, I, I'm hoping like just let her have this. I don't need any more songs. Well. And also people have done it before. Uh, their names are as follows. Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera. Uh, Miley Cyrus. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone's had a bad girl era, and those were actually bad girls. Like yes. Christina's album was called "Stripped." Yours is called "Karma," which was what Taylor Swift's song was. So, uh, what? Why would you release the same name of a song if the biggest artist in the world right now mm -hmm. has the same name of the song? Boop. Also, we had to listen to clips of the song for two weeks before you put it out. Mm -hmm. the, I mean, the most annoying marketing mm -hmm. I've seen in a minute. You think JoJo C was annoying? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, hey, that's I think he's a little annoying. Oh. I think he's a little annoying. I know. I think, <laughs> but I, I, I want to meet the girl that is like, I'm into it. What is no? Who, who is that? Oh, who is that? Who watched it and went? I'm just turned on right now, because there had to be somebody, and I'm assuming it's just people that buy all the gay stuff at Target. Like I'm assuming that's who it is. Yeah. They're like, oh my god, it's Pride season at Target. Get everything. Get, get everything. It's like supermarket sweep for Pride. They're like, oh my god, she's getting the gay honey baked ham. Put it in there. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. Change the name from Karma to Target. Yeah. Target's a bitch. I should have known, known better. better. <laughs> <laughs> and let's just address the elephant in the room. Okay. I'm sorry she took your act. <laughs> okay. Who? Who mine? She took my act. I know. She really did. If JoJo C was showcased, she's booking. <laughs> she's booking. She's booking. <laughs>
God damn it. Maybe that's why that's why I was nauseous today. <laughs> yes. I think I wake up every morning and go, oh, Jojo Siwa, what is she doing? <laughs> what is she doing? She haunts me. Guys, the world is stressful enough. From solar eclipses to Mercury being in retrograde, the world is just too stressed out, which is why we can all start eating stress-free this spring with Factor's delicious, ready-to-eat meals. Every fresh, never-frozen meal is ready to go in two minutes. It's dietitian approved and so good for you. From calorie smart, keto, protein, uh, vegan, and veggie. Discover more than 60 add-ons every week from breakfast, on-the-go lunch, snacks, beverages, uh, wellness shots. Feel good all day long. What are you guys waiting for? Get started today. Fuel up your springtime goals. Get chef-prepared meals on the table in two minutes with Factors ready-to-eat meals so you can get back to doing what you love this spring. With Factor, there's no fuss, no mess. Factor meals eliminate the hassle of prepping, cooking, or cleaning up. Simply heat it up and savor the good stuff. You guys will not be disappointed. I will say this. I was a little skeptical about a microwavable delivery service. To me, they always kind of taste spongy and a little weird. Um, but with Factor, I was blown away. This is all chef prepared. It is delicious. It is restaurant style cooking, ready to order and heat it up in your microwave. I know it sounds crazy, but just take my word for it. Factor is tailored to your schedule. Customize your weekly meals with the flexibility to get as much or as little as you need. Pause or reschedule deliveries to suit your lifestyle. Factor is also your solution to fast premium meals without the need for cooking. And you know what? We're celebrating Earth Day all month long. Look out for the Earth Month Eats badge on the menu for our lowest carbon footprint meals. Head to factormeals.com slash Saiyan50 and use code Saiyan50 to get 50. That's 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box. That's code Saiyan, S-A-Y-I-N, Five zero at factormeals.com slash Saiyan50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box while your subscription is active. Factor, you're welcome. Let's go from one um, catastrophe to another. Ooh. New York finally got its own earthquake caused go. by JoJo Siwa's <laughs> music release. She caused Taiwan's earthquake and New York's. Um, <laughs> my social media was just. Did oh, any? Was it just like photos falling off the walls? Yeah, was like that a kind shoe. Of a, a shoe a in the shoe. hallway. One, my socks oh, disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> the house elf just the stealing my elf. socks. Um, I mean, it wasn't anything crazy. I mean, the Taiwan one was pretty that one was gnarly. Bad. Yeah. That one was bad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was just like a woman eating cereal. And she's like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. So there was like that. But it wasn't anything like bonkers. Yeah. But everyone was like, oh, my God, a 4.8. In California, we were just like, <laughs> you call that a quake? <laughs> I thought it was fun. However, it was not fun for this guy because this guy went through the earthquake in New York. I think actually it was in Pennsylvania. He was getting oh, a vasectomy. No. A vasectomy when the earthquake struck New York, forcing the surgeon to set down his scalpel as the poor guy wondered whether a train was passing. The doctor was like, I think this is an earthquake. I figured he was messing with me, but he had to stop because everything was shaking. Uh, he put the tools down for a moment. Alan... Uh, this man, Alan, got the shaft. <laughs> he got the shaft timing wise when the 4.8 magnitude earthquake began shaking the hospital room right as he was going under the knife, fully lucid with local anesthesia. Oh, and there he is. And there he is. That man needed a vasectomy. <laughs> <laughs> Karma's a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that would be the. The scariest thing. The thumbs up. Well, yeah. He's got to let us know he's still got it. You know what I mean? He's like, because now we know we like, we know what you were doing. Mm -hmm. And now he's just going to be like, hey, guys, we're all good. We're all good. Man. Everything's good with my vasectomy. <laughs> but um, imagine making national news for that. Yeah. That that's your that's your 15 minutes. Yeah. Right there. But watch hope. Be on Dancing with the Stars. He'll be. Uh, I can't wait to see what he does with it. He's gonna. He's gonna be. He'll be the promotional spokesman for the Urology Health Surgery Center. Yeah, he'd be Bert Kreischer's stand-in. 
<laughs> Instead of taking his shirt off, he just pulls his pants down <laughs> on stage. They're, He's like, they're a hell of a duo, those two. <laughs> like, Jesus, God. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that would actually be terrifying. Anything, anything. Because my heart went out to New York. Because I was like, wow, you, you're not used to it. Yeah. You're probably like, holy shit. Oh and plus, God. those buildings are tall. Those poor bodega cats. Oh, I know. Well, maybe, I mean... If they shake, maybe rats fall down and they're like, That's, yeah. free food. <laughs> I need to know how dirty it got. Like, yes. I need to know, like, if they're, yes, like trash rats, just, yeah. yeah ugh. That's when I'm like, ugh. But also, New York is still so traumatized from 9 11 mm -hmm. that, I mean, I bet it started shaking and people were like, it's out. Oh, yeah. We're back at it. Or back also, at like, it. we're back at we're it. We're back at <laughs> it. We're back, guys. <laughs> New York is back. <laughs> no, I honestly think like, but think about that. Cause like our metro system, we have a metro system, but it's not New York's no, subway. People aren't relying on yeah. it like they are in New York. People yeah. are going to be on the subway and not compare the experience to the Universal Studios tram tour earthquake. <laughs> They're actually going to be like, holy shit, what's happening? Yeah. Or like, in a skyscraper, and the skyscraper's like, oh. <sighs> that yeah. would have, yeah. I mean, yeah, that that would have freaked me the fuck out. Being at the tippy, tippy top, shaking. You're like on the edge, like that, you know what that is? The, the, the thing in uh, Hudson Yards? That... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, thank you. Yeah, yeah. No, no. no. Um, but we are regrowing. We are recouping. We are rebuilding. We're rebuilding. Um, and speaking of rebuilding, <laughs> Gypsy Rose Blanchard speaking says her nose job is part of a personal transformation. Okay. Gypsy Nose is getting um, <laughs> rhinoplasty. Uh, she says it went great. It went great. <laughs> I uh, and I like to see Gypsy Rose going under the knife instead of her mom. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you. That was you. good. That was good. That was good. Uh, she she <laughs> says, I come in and out of sleep. Uh, I was in pain at first, but I'm on pain medicine. <laughs> Gypsy previously told the publication that she was preparing to have a rhinoplasty to change the shape and look of her nose. I'm going through a personal transformation journey currently, and that includes a physical one. So Gypsy is getting a full-on swan mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. She's going from possum to swan. Sure. And um, out of everything to fix, that's what she went with first? Here's the thing. I am team Gypsy because she just doesn't know. She doesn't know. She has no idea. She missed Instagram. She gets out of jail, gets immediately on Instagram. Yeah. And starts posting, 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 doing public appearances. She, she should have spread them out. I love the idea of a criminal with a rebrand. Fair. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Because she she has totally went from this this weird little girl in a wheelchair, mm -hmm. which <laughs> that's an understatement of the year. I but, mean, really, it really <laughs> a is. A real truly. weird little girl in a wheelchair. That weird little girl in a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to so, now. America's this, darling. Uh, America's darling, who's also out here fucking. Yeah. She gets the D. She lets us know. She lets us um, know. Yeah. She's literally this generation. Sorry, JoJo. Sorry. Jojo, you could never. Jojo could never. And that pisses, pisses her off. off. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Because Gypsy Rose is this generation's Roxy Hart from Chicago. But Munchausen by Roxy Hart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> I wonder what she's doing on the eclipse. <laughs> I don't want to know. Probably evolving into her next her. level she Pokemon. Yeah, like a cure. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she gets powers. God, <laughs> but yeah, she went full throttle. I mean, I'm excited. She's going through this change. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I'm I am kind of worried that <laughs> what? I don't know because I I'm honestly calling it Dancing with the Stars. I mentioned it before. Oh. Dancing with the Dancing stars. Dancing with the stars She's for her. For sure. Jojo did it. But imagine Gypsy's doing it. Imagine being her partner <laughs> on Dancing with the Stars. You get the luck of the draw, and they go, "We're giving you Gypsy Rose." Yeah, and what are you going to do? Like the Argentinian rumba to killing me softly? <laughs> like what are you? Or, 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 <laughs> what are we doing? 
I just, yeah, I I would be very scared to hold her hand. Or, yeah, yeah. Dancing hip-hop is Gypsy Rose Blanchard. That girl is poison. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her do the Roger Rabbit. That girl is poison. <laughs> like, what are the songs they're going to give Gypsy Rose Blanchard? Oh, I mean. It has to be like. Toxic. You make me sick. Yeah, it'll yeah. be like pink. <laughs> A good deep cut pink song. I, oh. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I bet she loves pink. Yeah. Oh, she does love pink. She, she wore it in the wheelchair. Pink. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was always in like a pink beanie and like, hey, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I bet that she, it, if she got on Dancing with the Stars and absolutely crushed it, yeah. we would finally have a good presidential candidate. I think so. Mm -hmm. I think she's the only person thriving during Mercury in retrograde because she used to actually drink Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth. Yes. She already got her powers. She's... The solar eclipse is just activating them. <laughs> um, are you a big country fan at all? As in? Country music. Oh, <laughs> I You're love like, the country I, song. I love the fields. I love the fields. <laughs> Like country music at all. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I like it. Bruce loves it. Oh, yeah. So by, I mean, I end up listening to yes. quite a bit of it. Um, but I mean, I, I went to Tyler Childers the other night. Um, to who? A Tyler Childers concert. I don't know what that is. You know what? Um, I really liked him during the pandemic. And, um, you know, this is my own fault okay. for thinking that the concert would be amazing. Okay. It's my own fault. You set the standards. I was like, this is going to be so good. It felt like he didn't even want to be there. Oh. That was the bummer of it all. Where was this? This was at the um the forum. At the forum? The Kia forum? Yes. Really? The forum, yeah. Wow. I've never seen that many people get up and leave. Wow. Yeah. Tyler Childers? Yeah, Childers. Childers? Childers. I mean, it doesn't matter, but it's... <laughs> uh, <laughs> no offense. Uh, and, and and you said a lot of people got up and left? People were just getting up and leaving. Is this him? Was, yeah. And he used to be a lot more... And, and I know that he's, you know, he's gotten sober and he's doing a more... You know, uh, he's a hot ginger. Thing. Yes, yes, but there was something fun about the grittiness oh. of when he was ruining his body, mm -hmm. uh, and it sucks. That sucks. Yeah, because I feel like everyone feels that there are certain songs that he won't play that are his biggest hits because they're triggering. But because they're triggering. Boo! And, and I'm like, give you us know, the hits. Play the fucking hits. It's like, I mean, it's like when you go up in front of an audience that it, the, the, certain shows where you're just like, I'm playing the hits. Yeah, I'm not wasting your time. Yes, you spent money to be here. I'm not working it out. Yeah. Like, just come on. Just give us the thing. It's a $70 ticket. I had to take an Uber to get here. I didn't take an Uber. I got oh, a ride. Yeah. But still, you know what I'm saying? You I know, know. You get drinks, the whole thing, and you don't even feel like you want to be here. Like, Madonna did some of that. But that's also Madonna, not Tyler Childers. Right. Like, Madonna was like, I, I'm going to give you all the hits. She was yeah. also at the Kia. It was at the it was the Kia, the Forum. Yeah. <laughs> and... Uh, it was kind of like that, but we were also like, you know what? She yeah. started the concert at 1030. Let her, it's her Let, thing. Uh, yeah. But um, I get that. And you yeah. said a lot of people laugh. Well, Bruce told me to stop because I just started singing Nicki Minaj as if I was somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> just transport yourself anywhere else. I was like, I'm some, I am, I am in bored. a different world. Wow. And I'm fine. I had my red wine and I was fucking this club up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was... Just, You're just like twerking. I literally he told me to stop grinding on him. I was like, whatever. Whatever. Someone's gotta have fun at this <laughs> joint. I mean, come on. Uh, well, this is actually interesting because Morgan Wallen uh was arrested uh in Nashville after throwing a chair from a rooftop. Oh, who's trouble? Ooh. Is it I threw a chair. <laughs> but it was like a it was like it was a uh it was a uh That's that's what you decide to do as your evil act. Yeah. That's what I thought, too. Okay, so the Metropolitan Nashville Police Department confirmed the arrest along with his mugshot. Country artist Morgan Wallen, 30, was booked earlier on three counts of felony reckless endangerment and one count of misdemeanor disorderly contact for throwing a chair from the rooftop of Chief's Bar Sun Sunday night. Right Sunday. Uh, the <laughs> chair landed on Broadway close to two <laughs> police officers. His... Bond, not bind. Who? Variety. Get it together. 
Humiliated. His bond was set at fifteen thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. So I mean, at least I mean, look at him. He I looks, mean, he looks fine with it. He's got that like ink surrection glow. <laughs> Excuse you know, me. sorry. No, it's fine. That, that's what happens. Morgan Wallen makes you sneeze. He does. Um, he do- everyone, this is what he looks like, huh? Yeah. So remember, he was uh, like scheduled a- to do SNL. Yes. And then they dropped him at the last minute because yes. they found out that he went on like some racist rant, mm-hmm. um, said some words that he should not have been saying, and it got out, and SNL dropped him. And then SNL was like, you know what? Enough time has passed. Come on back to the show. They love doing that. They do they love, doing, love that. doing that. They love putting their foot down and then being like, never mind. I mean, <laughs> we can't get anyone else. So would you like to show up? <laughs> it, it, it's kind of wild. And I also, luckily, no one was hurt because yeah. that's insane. What? Well, what? what are we drinking? What are we drinking? I've never had a cocktail and thought, I need to throw this chair off a roof. There's liquid courage, Mm -hmm. and then there's like liquid, what are you doing? Well, I'm glad you asked because I dug a little deeper. Oh. And I found out that he is going through it with an ex-girlfriend, okay? His ex, Katie, KT. I I hate her. (laughs) KT Smith uh, just recently... Uh, said she could not wait to say I do. Just days after getting engaged on March 29th, the 29-year-old social media influencer ooh, and her fiancé, Luke Scornavaco, okay. tied the knot. The pair made the surprise marriage reveal in a joint Instagram post, which featured a series of photos from what appeared to be an engagement shoot. But as she teased in the caption, which read, swipe for a surprise, the carousel also included one extra image at the end that wasn't part of the set. The selfie showed Smith and Scornavaco posing together as they showed off a marriage certificate from the clerk's office in Tennessee. So honestly, that's why he threw the chair. Because she announced the engagement and then announced he was drunk. I already got yeah. married. He, yeah. On April 1st, they shared a video that said 32924 when dreams turn to reality. So they just started dating, then all of a sudden they're engaged. She dated Morgan on and off from 2016 to 2019. The country music star opened up to people in 2021 about co parenting his son with Smith. So they have a kid as well together. They have a kid? Yeah. Actually, it wasn't a chair he threw. I'm it was sorry. it was the kid. It was the, the kid no. named Chair. <laughs> yeah, the kid named Chair, which is a very country name, it's Chair sure. Wallen. I mean, if you're naming yourself KT, mm-hmm. who knows what you're going to do. Mm-hmm. But also, they kind of look the same, Morgan and this new guy. The I just am so... I know where you're going. Really? Yeah, just go ahead. I'm bored. Yes. <laughs> by... Um, and uh, and this isn't to insult all straight couples, mm-hmm. but that their biggest moment in life mm-hmm. and their biggest whoa 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 everybody freeze stop stop what you're doing we're engaged and married mm-hmm. they it is their entire uh, the, the is structure of marriage children whatever is. Their whole thing. Mm -hmm. And when something interrupts that, all hell breaks loose. Yeah. They cannot function. Yeah. They're like, this is the fact that he's not married to the woman that he has the kid with and whatever is is ruining his life. But also it goes to show you, like, I already know what I'm getting set up with when I read KT. 29-year-old social social media influencer. Yes. I know exactly. I know what tattoos you have. I know. I know what's happening I here. know your color scheme in the field for yep. the wedding pictures. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know. I know you love the modern apartment we were talking about earlier. I Yeah. I know that you live in one of those. Mm-hmm. 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 I know that you love drinking Fireball at church. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. I get that. Yes, which... I I feel like there are um, certain women like this mm-hmm. who, uh, right now, life is beautiful. Love yes. is grand. Coachella et cetera, in a field. Et cetera, et cetera. I mean, he's got his lion hat on. But if you think that that man 
isn't taking off that cross necklace every now and again at the damn bar and doing what he believes needs to be done, you're out of your mind. That man Mm -hmm. will fuck around. That man also knows. And she's stupid. Yeah. But blissfully stupid. Blissfully stupid. A memoir. Blissfully stupid. If any man is, is right away like, let's get married, let's get engaged and whatever, it's because he's like, I need to lock it down. I need to lock it down. The family's starting to wonder if I'm gay. Yeah. I mean, that man knows where a glory hole is. Oh, I don't have a doubt in my mind. Yeah. I don't have a doubt in my mind. Mm-hmm. Because. Uh, uh, I mean, he's uh, cute, but it's. Uh, no. 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 No, you shave. Uh. You, sh- you shave that beard. You put that in a um, in a Lacoste polo. Oh, you're talking about his actual beard, not KT. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The actual beard. The actual beard. Yes. 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 Yeah. yes. No. Though this is a man who, with a rebrand. Mm-hmm. <gasps> yes, rebrand. With a rebrand. The theme. Okay. Could really fuck it up in Boys Town over yeah. here. Yeah. Really I mean, could. he's cute, but he's also looking at her like, "How close are you going to get in this picture?" Yeah. I'm like, I'm looking at it, and I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it either. And but but when you want something so bad, when mm-hmm. you want it to work out, mm-hmm. you're you'll, you'll do, tell yourself anything. Yeah, exactly. You'll be like, oh, I'm gonna I'm this is great. And you know what? Here's the thing. People are like, leave them alone. Quit trying to out people. It's not we're not outing anybody. I think that's bullshit. I think it's that's so stupid. But honestly, we're allowed to go, hmm. Also, I read body language, mm-hmm. I read eye contact. That's what we do. We go on stage, we look, that's what surprise that is the the concept of crowd work yes it's yes. not just going up and asking somebody what what do they do for a living right it's actually like looking at someone and going hmm and have you had those moments this. have I you had those this. moments where you like nail them oh yeah it's my favorite thing in the world yeah i'll be like i'll be i'll talk i'll be talking to someone and then they'll look at me and i'll be like what's your name is it like is it jessica and she's like it's jessica like i'm i'm like a psychic on like yes. mori povich yes like yes it's one of my favorite things in the entire world it's so fun and <clears throat> there's only been one time where it went south for me was i pointed at this guy i was with jeselnik and we were in that um celebrity theater which is around uh-huh and there was a man and i made the comment to him like uh you look like your finger girls with our sleep <laughs> And, Wait, what? You, okay, you, it's, it's part of a bit. Uh, and, but I pointed at him yeah. directly. And he, like, eyes got uh, wide, and him and his friend got up and left. Oh, Why? Because they were well, so uncomfortable? I, I, because it was, like, everyone was like, you got his ass. Oh. Like, it looked like, because I say that all the time yeah. as a joke with people. And, and it but registered. I, and it was like, mm-hmm. he, uh, yeah, yeah, they got up and left, like, 10 minutes into Anthony's set. God. I know. I, they were so mad. It was it was funny. Uh, like did you hear mad. back from them ever again? No. Oh. No, they don't reach out to me. Oh, uh, I love it when they're like, they want a refund. They want their money back. Oh, no, it's no, like, no, 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 no. I mean, if you think that I'm offensive, then you came to the wrong show. Exactly. If you, th- What are you doing? Or any show. Any show. I mean, really. And I'm not going to be offended by anything unless it's Bianca Sensori. Do you remember, remember her? Bianca Sensori, she's Kanye I West's girlfriend. I remember her. Who cannot, for the life of her, wear clothes. What's and happening with her? Nothing. This woman is just walking around, freezing her tits off, and every day they're letting us know she's still not wearing clothes. I'm bored. I am bored, and I not only is she not wearing clothes, but it's not even exciting. It's not exciting. It's in those shoes. Yeah. Is that cork? She doing cork? She's in cork. She's in cork. She's in cork. I I'm, mean, I feel like we just came up with a new catchphrase. <laughs> like she's, she's in, in cork. cork. She's in cork. She's in cork. She look at her. She's helpless. Her boobs are out. She just she just wants to be accepted so bad into society. And honey, it's not happening. It's not happening. It just uh, no one. This is why you need people to care about you. Right. She has no one in her life being like Miss Bianca. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Yeah. You are walking outside. First of all, it's not as though he's dressed like scantily and they're both doing a thing. Yeah. It's him being like, 
here is my doll. It's very bizarre. Yes. I don't like it. Does she, she speak? Have we seen her speak? We, I don't think we have heard her speak. This says, I can't talk. I don't think this you- This says, I can't, I can't push back. I don't think you can talk in cork. I- <laughs> You shouldn't be able you to. You shouldn't be able to talk. No, you, you can't have an opinion. No. Um, but I mean, it's just full nude illusion. And mind you, is this in L.A.? I think this is in L.A. Is. Can you do it's this? It's a Gigi's, right? Yeah. It's, uh... Yeah. Let me just tell you about last Thursday night. It was cold. It was cold it here. It was cold here. Why is Kanye in a coat? Kanye gets to wear a jacket. He gets to like be warm. And this poor... Like, lost baby deer. She is just, she's miserable. And she's in lace, and she's in her bra. She's being banned in Brazil. She's being banned in all these other countries. Italy won't have her. Italy like, won't Italy's have her? like, get the hell out of here. Mm. And she is just, uh, it's, I, I'm really embarrassed for her. I'm embarrassed for her. And I am a big advocate of body positivity. I love people being comfortable in their own skin, but honey, this is not it. No, no. And I I feel like once this is all done, because Will it? I think it'll end. I uh, think it'll end. What What's the time frame you think? Because mm, I mean, okay. it's going on for a while now. I mean, I'm going to give it four years. Oh, years. I think I think we're going to have some years out of it. Uh-huh. But I do think that it's going to run its course. She's no longer going to be able to wear this outside. <sighs> She's a, the, the body is just going to start pushing back. Yeah. And and then he cork. is going to be like you're not you're not wearing cork anymore. She, I can't it, be with you. It does you. say she rocked cork heeled platforms for their date. Rocked. Ladies do not wear cork. Do not Don't wear cork. rock cork. You can't rock cork with lace. No. That makes no sense. Cork, cork. You're on vacation in the Bahamas. You're wearing a cork. You're wearing a dumb Cracker Barrel dress. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Not, Whatever. Not cork and lace. No. Go back to Michaels. Get different crafts and put something together because it's also, not cork and lace. And also another thing for LA restaurants. How does JoJo get into a bar at 20 years old? How are we allowing? Like lingerie into a public establishment. I'm gonna try it. No you shirt. should try it. No shirt, no shoes, no service, right? It should exactly. be exactly no exactly. cork. No cork. <laughs> no cork, no lace, no, no Kanye. Mohawk. Yeah. No no whatever kiss splat yeah. she had on her face. By the way, she didn't even know who Gene Simmons was. What? She, she didn't know. JoJo Siwa had no, they were like comparing her to Kiss. Yeah. She had no idea who the lead singer of Kiss was. They were like, Gene Simmons from Kiss. She's like, what? So that means that's the worst. It wasn't even inspired by no. anything. No. It, that was her own thought, her own free will yeah. of, of I'm going to put this black star. Yeah. That's what happens when you give like kids sharpies yes they draw on their face also uh, sh her um her face looks so young who she, jojo, jojo she, yeah yeah her face yeah looks get out of here bianca put on a shirt yeah. <laughs> back to jojo oh sorry <laughs> no go back her, sure. poor poor bianca yeah i no, know only, only five minutes sorry bitch. i know like, that's all she gets <laughs> well i i mean it, it's all we can talk about is what she's wearing because we don't know anything about her and it's probably for the best yeah, she's probably. Were we gonna say she has a young face? JoJo does. She looks like a child. So yeah. the whole her hooking up with people in the th you're like it's weird. I don't I don't like this because the other girls are hot, mm -hmm. and it's like there's no way that this is what lines up. I, I and <clears throat> I don't know. And it's it's not only that, but it's a it's a Mr. T thing too with the chains and the yes. mohawks. Yeah, you nailed it. Thank you, That's, straight man. Thank you. It's honestly yes. That is what it when is. When you put it into perspective, it's a Mr. T shout out. Um, but she also has no clue. About it. She has no clue. Mr. Mm, T is no. Is she wearing? Is that shirt her on the shirt? <laughs> you know she's wearing her own face. I literally can't stand her. Yeah. You can't wear your own face on your shirt. No, no, Siwa can. No, no. I call her no, no, Siwa. She's a no, no, Siwa. She, it, she Just, really is. It's. I mean, we wish her well. I wonder how much money she brought in to that establishment. Not a lot. They can't drink. Oh, yeah. I mean, unless... I'm baffled. I want to know. I need to... I need to like DM the city of West Hollywood. We need, to, we need to feed her alcohol and see what happens. Oh, God, no. We Could need you... to figure out what happens. 
Does she get more powerful? We okay. You grab her, <laughs> flip her upside down. We'll butt chug her. Yes. Yeah. And okay. then <laughs> and then and then we'll we'll let her loose. And then we'll let we'll her let loose. Her, we'll let her. We'll, yeah. Yeah. And we and, can get ooh. away with it too because we'll blame the solar eclipse. Yes, you know what we'll do? We'll do that. And then we'll take all of the accoutrements. We'll do we'll do the face paint. We'll do pom-poms and we'll go, okay, now that you're fucked up, figure it out. Figure it. Do it. Make a design. Do the thing. But when she passes out finally, because it will happen. Yes. We will draw a dick on her face. Mm, but around the eye. Around yeah. the eye like she likes. Yeah. Yeah. Just around the eye. And then on her forehead, karma's a bitch. Karma's a bitch. Mm-hmm. Okay. I like this. Luckily this isn't being recorded, so they're not gonna like know that we're behind <laughs> that we're behind this. But I mean, if it does get out, it was not Kelly Ryan and myself. Okay. No, we weren't no, planning this in some underground basement mm -mm. on sunset. No. Yeah, at all. No, no. But we wish her the best, you know? I I I want her to just slowly disappear. She will. Yeah. I don't need it to be a kaboom. We don't need something dramatic. Just to dissipate. Happen. Just, 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 just take your karma money and. Which <clears throat> oh no! I don't know if this is just the beginning. You think? She's, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Yeah. Well, because is there a whole album that's behind this? Yeah, I think there is a whole album. Oh, no. I know. I know. Oh, no. But let's get into uh, this one. Oh. This other country uh, superstar family. I saw this. This is very bizarre. Yes. Noah Cyrus, Miley Cyrus's sister. Uh, she's also a very talented indie artist as well. So Miley's pop. Noah's like indie alt. Yes. Uh, Noah likes Liam Hemsworth's gym selfie amid family rift rumors. Noah Cyrus liked a gym selfie posted by her sister, Miley Cyrus's ex-husband, Liam Hemsworth, amid weeks of rumors of alleged drama involving Noah, her mom, Tish, and her new husband, Dominic Purcell. Now, if you're not familiar with this story, a couple weeks ago, news broke out that Noah was dating Dominic Purcell. Am I saying, is it Purcell? Yeah. Right? So the guy Purcell, Purcell, yes. Yeah. Dominic Purcell, who was an actor on Prison Break. He was like the hot, like rugged Prison Break. Okay. Speaking of rebranding. We've got one We're rebranding. Yes. So Noah was dating Dominic oh, okay. Purcell, right? Hot daddy. Uh, you know. Wait, wait. Noah was Yes, the dating? sister was. Yeah. But then Noah and Dominic broke up and Tish... Shut up. Noah's mom. Shut up. And Miley's mom what? married Dominic Purcell. Come as a bitch. <laughs> oh <laughs> my God. I didn't know this. <laughs> that is so yes. fucked up. Isn't that weird? That hey, is that's country. Weird. That is. Disgusting. So when asked about it, they 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 confronted Miley about it and say, "Did you know about this?" And Miley kind of threw it under the radar, saying, "Like, you know what? I'm really busy. I wasn't really, I didn't really know." Mm -hmm. But then now Noah is liking her sister's ex husband's gym selfies. This can't be a thing. We can't be, we can't, I, I understand one trade Z's. You get one trade Z's in the family, uh -huh. okay? But you can't be searching for more of them in the family. Like, I, I couldn't imagine, like, like, a family member's ex. Okay, if, if my sister, like, if my sister's ex posted a gym selfie with no shirt, you know, they've been divorced for a while, I'm not gonna be like, Heart, like, ew, uh, stop. But I want to see what I want to read what the caption was. So the caption, uh, he wrote, hashtag leg day. A massive thank you to everyone that watched Land of Bad. The feedback has been awesome. Extremely grateful for all the love and support. And uh, yeah, Noah liked it. Do we have an actual picture of the oh, oh, yeah, he looks great. God damn it, those Hemsworths. He I does swear. look, oh, she is spooky. She is spooky looking. She looks like, in that picture. She looks like what's her face? Uh, uh, Bianca de Sensori. No, 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 no. The other one. The other one. That's Julia always, Fox. Julia Fox nailed it. Yes. Yes. She's yeah. the other one. Yeah. I, I, I nailed both it. Both of though. them are trapped in a way that yeah. I can't understand. I mean, I would not be mad if we had Miley Cyrus and Spooky Cyrus. I mean, Miley that, and Spooky. Miley and Spooky. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I actually like that a lot. <laughs> I like Spooky Cyrus. He looks great. 
uh, uh, the caption is AI generated. Yeah. He, it, or actually, I would believe that this man doesn't know how to talk like a regular person. Of course. I would, I would fully I think believe so that. Too. I yeah. think when you look like this and you, you are like this, you're the, the quirkiness, the fun of you is the quirkiness, the, cor the quirkiness <laughs> the is gone. Quirkiness. Yes. So, um, so this is the, the interesting part. So obviously Billy Ray Cyrus was married to Tish. Mm -hmm. Um, there was a huge falling out. Is that? No, no, that's the brother. <laughs> that's the brother. That's not like, Noah. Spooky no, Cyrus spooky. looks, uh, different. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah. um, this year, Miley won her Grammys. Big year for Miley Cyrus. Uh, I'm sorry, Miley and Beyonce's song, one of my favorites Incredible. on the new album. I love Miley Cyrus. It's, I do too. I think she's great. Mm -hmm. She and she's one that I had to like work on. Interesting. I I was not a big fan. I missed Hannah Montana. It wasn't my thing. Mm. Um, I loved Bangers. That was yeah because I, I was in college at that time, and that was like we can't stop. We can't. We literally can't stop. stop. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, and I think that's and then she did the whole tongue thing, and I was, was like bad. really annoyed with her. And she's like, yeah. I smoke weed now, we're dreads, and you're like, No, what are you doing? What are you doing? And now I think she's just there, and I'm yes. so happy for her. I think yes. she's very very talented. She figured it out, but. Uh, 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 it is interesting because during her acceptance speech for the Grammys, she did not mention her dad. Mm -hmm. Yes. And now Noah and Dominic Purcell do not follow each other on Instagram anymore, which I just think, I, I love how people just get off to like, who follows who. Right. And they're like, oh my God, they unfollowed them, not themselves the other it's day. Like, well, it's would like, would you still want to follow him? No. If, if he is fucking your mom? I know. Oh, I, know. I mean, really? Yeah. Because you know they're getting it. They're, they're fucking going after it. Who the mom? Oh, the mom and then yeah, and Dominic. Oh yeah, yeah. They're not. I'm I mean, a, I'm. I'm. They're team... not doing a domestic partnership. They're banging. Yeah. Yeah. Prison banging. Yes. <laughs> God. Uh, speaking of prison banging, fans troll Aoki Lee Simmons's estranged dad, Russell Simmons, for her PDA with Vittorio Asaf, 65. Vittorio. Do you, do you know this story? I do not know this. So oh, oh, Aoki Lee oh. Simmons is the daughter of Russell Simmons, right. a hip hop mogul. Uh, and he, Russell, is being firmly blamed for her insane romance with a man 43 years her senior. <laughs> I just you look like you just smelled the worst balls. <laughs> <laughs> you, you <laughs> your face was like <laughs> I just he that image of them mm -hmm. touching mm -hmm. uh I it, that is something where it's like like when I was younger, if I were at, uh, you know, um, like at a pool and I saw that, I'd like get my stuff. And <laughs> collect and, yourself. Yeah, I'd collect my things and I'd get out of there. Oh, no. I don't want to watch this. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. Valerie Cherish. I don't want to yeah. see that. <laughs> uh, so they were spotted kissing on a beach in the Caribbean, according to photos by Page Six. The Serafina co-owner then took photos of the model as she posed in the sand before they took a dip in the ocean. So they said they're enjoying each other's company. She's the youngest daughter of Russell Simmons, who's 66. Interesting. Um, and Asa, for his part, hails from Milan, Italy. He has been a staple in uh, the New York restaurant world since co-founding Serafina Restaurant Group. So emerge... Uh, Images of their PDA emerged, a flurry of outrage from fans, and even her mom, Kimora, seemingly showed her disapproval of the union by reposting a since-deleted video of a mother panda furiously pulling away her baby cub with her teeth and wrote, on my last nerve right now. Oh, Kimora. Uh, uh, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> to use a, a panda to throw shade is, mean, is very bizarre. But it's also like, Really, a panda? A pan Are you like uh, is to that watch like, that and go? This is so me right now. Well, I feel like there's mama bear, like, but also like Kamora's Asian. So is she mama panda bear? I just have questions. Is that yeah, what it is? Does she see that? Does she, is she making a comment there of mm -hmm. like? Yeah, I don't. Mama panda says no. I mean, <laughs> maybe if we stop talking like Mama Panda Bear says no, maybe our kids could actually grow up in a healthy. Yeah, yeah, I mean, for the love of God, maybe <laughs> maybe don't post on your Instagram story about your daughter. Yeah, don't troll your own daughter. Yeah, come on, <laughs> give her a call. I know. I yeah, I mean, she's beautiful. Yeah, he is an extra on White Lotus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Totally. <laughs> Totally. What if this is just White Lotus season three? Yeah, what if we're wrong? What, what if, if we're wrong? They're like, oh my God, they're making out. And they're like, no, we're actually just filming for season three of White Lotus. Yeah, but my mom is fucking getting my ass online. I know, but my mom's trolling me back in the <laughs> States. I don't know. I'm not mad at it. I feel like she's... Love is love. She's so rich. Yeah. She doesn't need him. This no. isn't this isn't like a gold dig. This isn't Bianca Sansori. This is not right. Bianca. Yeah, this is not. No. She, no cork to be no seen. No cork found. Yes. And, and all she, and she's in a place where she's allowed to have no clothes on. Yes. She's not on she's the corner the right of Sycamore and Santa Monica just standing there. Imagine freezing. getting hit by a car in that outfit. I would. I mean, think of think, <laughs> think, think of it. Think about it. Think about laying in the hospital bed. In lace. Saran wrap and lace. You'd be the first bitch in a hospital in lace. <laughs> so where, what happened to your clothes? These are them. These are, this is what I have. You weren't... This, this, oh, there wasn't an aggressive wind that uh, took your like, clothes? She's like, where are my shoes? We took those. We took those. We got rid of those, actually. We put those in. Those in, are in that toxic in bin ins- in the corner with the needles, actually. <laughs> Cut to Gypsy Rose dancing to toxic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Did someone say toxic? Get out of here. Um, <laughs> the only person who I think needs to be trolled by their parents is Jojo Siwa. Does we, she have parents? Where are they? Where are they? I don't know. Does I, she have is she, does she have siblings? Because I, if she has siblings, this wouldn't be happening. This really? Be ha- oh, no, I, I think that any, or, or at least she doesn't have an older brother. An older brother would have beat the shit out of this. <laughs> this wouldn't have happened. This would not have happened. She needs someone to bully her that is close to her. <laughs> it can't just be people online. She you shakes need, off the people I online. I know. You need a family member to like put you in place. Yes. Does Jojo Siwa have siblings? Can we can we find that if data? It's, I swear to God, if their names are like Lolo and Toto and Popo. Oh, oh no, well, okay. not Jaden Siwa. All right, now this is actually making sense. Oh no, it is. Is yeah. Tom, is that the dad? Jojo. He's the lesbian that's into her. That's the kind <gasps> oh. of guy. Or girl. That's unfortunate looking. That is wild. All right. Well, thank you, Kelly. This has been so much fun. Oh, thank you so for being fun. here. Yeah. Please tell everyone where they can follow you, find you on the road, all sure, that sure, jazz. Sure. Um, you can follow me at, at this is Kelly Ryan um, on Instagram and all that good stuff. KellyRyanComedy.com for <laughs> show dates, tickets. All that jazz. I have a podcast called Night Coop uh, with my twin sister. Yes. It's a great fucking time. Cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that's it. And I'll be on the road with uh, Jezelnik for the rest of the year. Yes, find her on the road with Anthony Jezelnik when they are in your town. Mm-hmm. And thank you again so much. Ah. And thank you guys for listening and watching. We hit a million on TikTok for our clip last week with Sarah Hyland. Oh, I love we it. We are just on our way. And thank you guys. Rate, review, subscribe, tell the world. We'll see you next time on the Just Saying Podcast. Bye. Bye.